So Tommy, we're getting a lot of letters from folks who want to properly hang a picture or a heavy mirror, and it makes sense. They want to get it in the right place, and they want to make sure it stays there. So do you have any tips for us? Absolutely. The first thing you want to know is, what is my wall made of? Mm -hmm. Now, if you live in an older house, say 1940s or older, it's probably a plaster and lath wall. All right. All right. Now, the plaster is very brittle. Right. So you got to be careful of the hanger. You don't want to use a drywall hanger on this because you could damage the plaster and the wall. Okay, so what do you recommend we use? Well, I recommend this right here. This is an old tried and true toggle bolt. It's spring-loaded nut, and you want to use a pitcher hanging hook on it. All right. You must drill a hole in the plaster first. What you've Squeeze done here. Squeeze the nut, push it through the wall, and when you push it through the wall, the spring opens up. Look at that. Okay. All right, you pull back on it and you tighten it with a screwdriver, right. and that will go right tight against the lad. I'm tightening it from behind, but you'd actually be doing this from the front with a screwdriver right. until it is nice and tight. And that will hang just about any picture you want. Without damaging this wall. Exactly. Now, we all don't have plaster and lath. A lot of us have drywall. Right, and there are a lot of different fasteners for drywall. Plastic mollies, toggles, and screws, for example. This is a large screw that mm -hmm. screws into the drywall. You drive it in with a hammer. It goes in so far, you take your screw gun, and you screw it into the drywall. You back the screw off, and you can hang the pitcher right on that. Right. This is the old tried-and-true pitcher hanging hooks. They work fantastic. And all of these fasteners have a maximum weight rating. Which means we need to know the weight of our picture, or in this case of our mirror. Mm -hmm. And we can find that easily using a bathroom scale, and it looks like it's about 30 pounds. Okay. Well, I'm going to use this fastener right here. Now, this one fastener is rated for 30 pounds, but I'm going to use two of them. Really? So is this just belt and suspenders? Well, yes, but it gives me a couple of options also. It allows me to slide the mirror to the left and the right just a little bit because mm -hmm. I have two of them, but it also keeps the mirror from going askew. Good point. Okay, so where do you want to locate this mirror? All right, now let's position it on the wall about where we think we want it. So I want the top of the mirror here, and I want the center of it about there. Right, and so if that's the top, we actually have to measure down from there to take into account this wire. And right. if we just had one hook... All right, if we had one, I'd measure down. It's about three and a half inches. Right, but you're going to use two. All right, so now it depends on the spacing between each hook. If you go a little bit wider, the wire goes a little bit lower. Right, and if I go closer, it comes up. Right, so to know that height, what I like to do is I like to take a scrap piece of wood right mm -hmm. here. This is about 12 inches, and I mark the center. I center it on the mirror. I eyeballing it, hold it tight to the wire, and now I measure down from the top of the mirror five inches. All right, so now... So now I measure down from my line on the wall, and I make five-inch mark. I take my scrap of wood with my center line, I line it up here, down, and I make it right there, take a little level, make that level, and I mark the end or the corners on each side, all right, and that's where we position the hooks. And we actually want to make sure that the bottom of the hook goes on that mark, so I'll locate it. Right. And I'll just tap this in. Okay. All right, I'll put the second hook up. All right, we'll get the mirror ready. Okay. All right, over that wire. So I'm on my hook. Okay, me too. Nice job, Tommy. Those are some good tips. Looks good. Mm -hmm.